Hello, Happy New Year, and welcome back to my series on my solar journey. As we're now in January, this video is going to be looking back at December, my solar generation from then, and how much money I saved. Next Friday, I'm going to release a special video where I look back at the whole of my solar generation in 2022, and how much money that saved. So some of the usual information I'd give in these videos is actually going to be put into that video instead. Also in January, I'm going to be releasing a video, which is a request video, about looking at what the savings is on having a battery compared to exporting to the grid, and some of the benefits about having a battery over export. So I'll be putting that together over the next week, and then be releasing that um, sometime soon. Um, as far as the science videos on solar power, um, I am going to be doing those in January. I had planned to do them in December, but ran out of time. So I'll be looking at about how a battery works, I'll be looking at how a heat pump works, and also how the infrared heating panel we have works as well. Uh, if you have a son or daughter who is currently revising for exams, I've also released a video as part of my sort of maths tuition videos, uh, looking at exam revision techniques and tips. So if you'd like to pass that video on to them, there is a link just here, and there is also a link down below in the description. Right, so let's get through to the uh, December generation with this graph here. As you can see, um, we've actually had quite low generation through December. The maximum generation we had on any day was just over 14 kilowatts. And the uh, lowest amount of generation we had was down at 0.3 kilowatt hours. So it's been very, very low. And just to remind you, the system we've got is a 4.6 uh, kilowatt uh, solar panel system on the roof, going into a 5 kilowatt solar inverter, in, inverter with a 5 kilowatt hour um, power drive uh, hybrid battery. Um, and we are currently with British Gas, which we're fixed to with until uh, March 2024, paying uh, nine, just over 19p per kilowatt hour and a standing charge of 24p. So the this was our generation. So December um, has the shortest day in it. We had the solstice on the 21st and had another video, which I'll put a link up to here, which just compares the solstice uh, day of generation compared to a day back in uh, August. Uh, the weather in December was a bit all over the place. We had some very cloudy days where we were getting very little generation at all, but we also had that very cold spell where in Swansea at least we were getting actually some sunshine even though it was minus centigrade um, in temperature. So those accounts for the days when we were getting sort of the 14 above 10 kilowatt hour uh, generations. So how does this actually look for in terms of our usage, export and um, what we were using? So here's the usual graph. So uh, the green was the uh, electricity we were exporting back to the grid. As you can see on some days there was very little at all, if it actually was zero on quite a few days. Um, we had the real import. Um, because the Solus app is now given um, our ex, uh, export and import to multiple decimal places, it's actually now matching with the smart meter, so that is actually the import from the app as well, because it actually says the same as our smart meter. So that's just the import, that's in red. As you can see on some days, especially later on in the month, we were, getting a, we were almost purely reliant on import um, in electricity from the grid. The uh, yellow is the battery discharge, that's where we've charged the battery from our solar panels and then discharged it through the day for usage. And then we've got the green, which we call self, which I call the self-use, which is just the energy being produced on the roof and we're using it in real time. As you can see on quite a few days, there's very little of that at all. I should also point out that um, for the last week in December from Christmas Eve through to New Year's Eve, we were away. So we had very little gener uh, uses on that over that time. So let's break this down into some numbers and figures. Um, so in December, we used a total of 205 kilowatt hours. We generated on the roof 144 kilowatt hours. 
and of that 144 we self-used so we used by charging the battery and discharging and just purely off the roof in read time uh, 119 kilowatt hours which means that we sent to the uh, grid 25 kilowatt hours and we imported um, 84 kilowatt hours and this is can be shown in this graph here so you can see um, comparing to our previous months as I'll do I'll go into more into this uh, graph in next week's video um, but you can see the uh, input uh, our own generation which which we use which is at 119 kilowatt hours and the amount we um, imported from the grid which was the 85 which is in red so how much does this uh, making cost so this is excluding our uh, stand in charge so we gave British gas in December 16 pounds and 30 pence from our seg tariff which pays 5p per kilowatt hour from so energy uh, we made one pound 75 and the electricity that we saved uh, or the money we saved by using our own electricity at that 19p rate that british gas would start charge us was 23 pounds and 37p so as you see from this graph um, we had more export sorry less export compared to November, more import from the grid and less electricity generated off the roof. And this means that in December we were 41.83% reliant on the grid, i.e. Um, we were uh, about 59% uh, self-sufficient. So next week well, I'll actually break down the vid those per month and go into more details. Um, but it means to date that we have saved, including exporting back to the uh, grid, uh, £145 in the four months and a week since we had the panels. So anyway, hopefully you found that video interesting. Please hit the subscribe button. Um, I'm still trying to get my subscriptions up. As you know, there's videos, there are ad videos that appear before my videos. I can't make any money out of those because I haven't got enough subscribers to do that. So hitting that subscriber will be beneficial to me. So anyway... Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video very soon.